So, there is no free dinner tonight, so you have to suffer through my talk before you get a chance to enjoy a wonderful dinner. Okay? okay. The no more problem. you give me applause, the faster I will talk. And <laughs> I'm going to talk about entrepreneurship in Amina. Create chaos to avoid chaos. As I talk, hopefully this will become more clear. First of all, what is Amina? It's Asia, Middle East, North Africa. In addition, in three languages, Arabic, Turkish, and Farsi, Amina means integrity and honesty. I'm not going to go over my background for you. Uh, it would take time till tomorrow morning. But as you will see, the last four years, I've been primarily working in trying to address a very key issue that really is like a ticking bomb. And we need to see how we can be very creative to come up with ways to avoid a major chaos. And the same way as you fight fire with fire, we can create chaos to avoid chaos. We all have seen the drop of price of oil. That's a mega trend. Some people are hoping that it might go up, but Anybody who has studied the recent trends on alternative energy, it's very easy to predict within the next 20 to 30 years, coal, oil, and gas will all be worth zero. So simple advice to all of the oil producing countries is ship them as much as you can. It's, uh, diminishing value of inventory. And while it is good news that we are going to save our planet, and we can all be, <coughs> let's not forget last year, over a million people died of lung cancer in China. Over 1.1 million died of lung cancer in India. So the good news is, we are all hopefully going to save our planet. And in the process, we might have to get rid of a few leaders, either of my own country, America, doesn't believe in this. <laughs> but it was chance. <laughs> the bad news is, as the price of oil and fossil economies is dropping, this is the list of 30 countries that are affected by this. And these are the list of top 30 countries that are affected by the drop of price of gas. If we combine them together, we are talking about 45 countries. 38 of them are in Asia, Central Asia, Middle East, North Africa, and Central Africa. All of these countries have huge population of young people, and the unemployment rate is above 25% in majority of these countries. Huge problem when young people don't have jobs. As it happens, 32 of them are Muslim majority countries. And why do I highlight that? Why is it important to know that fact? In a Muslim majority country, if you do not have a job, you cannot get married. The father of bride will not approve the marriage for a son-in-law or potential son-in-law who doesn't have a job. 
to make it worse if you don't have a job and you don't have a wife in many of these countries guess what no sex <laughs> Now, in US, in Europe, in Australia, in many countries, a young man doesn't have a job, maybe gets a girlfriend. That can't, he's a geek, maybe like me, cannot get a, well, I have a wife, thank God. <laughs> can't have sex, you can go and get drunk and forget about all your miseries. In Islamic countries, no alcohol. <laughs> Imagine the pressure it brings on you. And this is not lost to a lot of to a lot of terrorist organizations. We only hear about ISIS, but there is Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda in Peninsula, Nusra Front, Boko Haram, Al Shabaab, Jamaat Islamia. Over 20 of these. And they target these poor young men in these countries and they say, you don't have a job, we give you a job. You don't have wife, we give you wife. You don't want the headaches of marriage, we kidnap a young girl and give it to you as a sex slave. Fight for us. We give you all the rewards, everything. If you die in the next world, we give you many more wives. This is the number of international terrorist incidents happening per month. In 2014, 2015, it was below 50 per month. I know you're surprised to say, how could that be? You only heard about a couple of them. Only when it happens in US or Europe, it gets attention. But when it happens in Bangladesh, in India, in Pakistan, in Iraq, in Nigeria, nobody talks about it. In 2014, price of oil dropped. And look at what happened in 2016. The number of incidents rose up to above 150 per month. June of last year, it was 235 terrorist incidents. Now, President Trump can come and say, I'm going to bomb the shit out of them and kill them and kill their families. But we don't need another stupid Hitler approach. What we need. <laughs> yeah! What we need is to go from fossil-based economies to innovation economies. And this is where iTechpreneurship comes. High-tech entrepreneurs like yourselves, whose activities has been leveraged <coughs> by broadband. So you can use the cloud. You can use all the resources of internet to change the world. The purpose of our initiative is to create 10 million innovation jobs in the next 10 years in those 32 countries. And if it sounds crazy, you start with 50 million, inspire them to think that they are not victims. They give them a reason to live rather than lack of hope to die. 2% of them are leaders create one million entrepreneurs, come up with ideas, half of them would fail soon, we all know that, before they create a company. Another half survive, give them a few thousand dollars, and then again, half of them fail. The ones who survive are really good, give them more money. If you end up with 100,000 entrepreneurs creating 100 jobs, the goal is achieved. How do you do it? You teach them entrepreneurship, investment in entrepreneurship, and positive social impact. Do something meaningful with their lives. 
And of course, it's not something that I'm going to do alone. That's why I have started to work in the last few years with all of these wonderful organizations. And obviously being here at Seed Stars, Dream Lock Rock, it's so wonderful to see so many of you. And my goal is to empower as many of you as possible, help you get your funding, help you get more partners. I have over 21,000 contacts on LinkedIn. Friend me, all of that is open to you. If you want to meet somebody anywhere in the world, if that person is my first level connection, just send me a note and say, introduce me to so-and-so and give a brief summary. More than happy. Love you all, and remember, you are the cream la crop of our species. It's the first time in evolution of our species that you, your generation, can use just your brain and the access to internet to disrupt, create chaos on the existing businesses, and create new jobs for your generation, and with jobs comes wealth, and with wealth comes a proper transition of power from old men who are typically dictators, monopolists, and want everything for themselves, to young people like yourselves who want to change the world for the better. Love you all. Cameron!